Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. I'm filming this late at night, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a YouTube after bedtime. Well, we call it crafting after bedtime over on Facebook. YouTubing after bedtime. So there's tequila in here. All right, let's jump into this tutorial. You guys welcome back for another tutorial today we're gonna we've done okay this is bringing us way back way back when if you're an OG to the channel y'all I love you so much you have no idea if you're new around here hi we're gonna throw it back to one of the first projects we ever did right here on YouTube I wonder if we can like put up the little thumbnail from the original video if not it's fine no biggie anyhow we're bringing it back to the book stack. But there's a twist. There's always a twist. No book stack I've ever done is ever the same as the one before. I guarantee it. Okay, so the materials for this particular tutorial are a little bit different. Normally you'd like a book stack. You just need books and some flowers, right? Well, yeah, you do need books, which I aged these because they were already um, starting to age pretty well, so I just added to the aging of it. <laughs> we'll have to talk about this later. <laughs> oh God, we'll talk about this later. I've already got a couple ready to go, but we'll talk about this one in a second. You're also going to need some. Uh, I can't. I can't lift them. Stamps of your choosing depending on the spine of your book. Oh, also, I should have done a warning. If you don't like the desecration of books, I got it, I understand, but it'll make more sense once you know, these books are mine. They've been my, my childhood. <laughs> Why is this Heartland Romance book a childhood book? I'll explain in a minute. Uh, stays on ink, my favorite ink of all inks that have ever been inks. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so for the twist on this, you're gonna need these glue sticks. Do you see they're kind of amber colored? These are dent repair glue sticks. Who to thunk it? I know. We'll link it in the description. It'll be in our Amazon store. It is an affiliate link, but we'll we'll just show you that. They're stinky. But you'll see why in a minute, why they're so Lovely. This will ruin some of the secret. You know, little honeycombs. Just, just little honeycombs. And then the normal uh, greenery of some sort. These are all bits and bobs. That's the technical term for these. Bits and bobs from my greenery basket. And then just a couple of solo wood flowers. I am going to keep these on the stems. You can also just not have them on the stems. But we've got Le Fleur, Daisy, and our sunflower. All of these have already been dyed. I think the daisies we carry died if you don't want to die on yourself. The other two, you'd have to die on your own. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get this cover off this book. Yes, this is a Harklin super romance, not just a romance, a super romance. So as I'm tearing off the cover, let's just have a chat, shall we? Of what my parents let me read when I was like 13 to 15 years old. Do you remember, this is gonna age me, but do y'all remember there used to be like book clubs where they would send you a book, like a, a subscription for books? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I should probably, oh yeah, there's groaning and stuff on here. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take off that first page here. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in the back. No, I think we're good. I cannot believe my parents let me read these, but they did. I think what we're gonna do, <laughs> Put that one in the middle. <laughs> All right. If for some reason when you're taking off your book cover, they don't come off very easily, you can just buff it down a little bit with a little bit of sand, pa sand paper. Simple Simon, easy peasy. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our words. And I think you'll catch on real fast 
once I get my word on there. I'm not gonna tell you. I need, you all need suspense, right? It's better that way, okay? So I'm gonna stamp, and you all can guess what's about to happen. that lovely glue that I have over here. We're gonna start building this. I'm gonna glue my books in between each other. You can also, if you don't wanna glue the books together, you can wrap it with some ribbon or something else, which is I think what we did on the first one. But this time we're gonna glue the books together. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna decorate these. All right, here we go. Y'all look, Vikram got a new friend. It's a little itty bitty one. Look at that. Its name is Regina. This is Vikram. Do you, any, do you, do you get the reference? This is Re Regina. She is gonna need boobly eyes at some point. All right, so let's get putting on our flowers and we're, our flowers, first the greenery. Again, we're using bits and bobs. Okay, so we've got that sweet like honey. This is a theme. I took that contractor's Dent repair, sorry, dent repair glue, get the name right. Put some on my silicone mat that I always put my glue gun on, and then pop some little honey dippers in there. And now it looks like a little pool of honey. And I think we're gonna drip some honey down. Some honey down there. But I gotta pick out which little dipper we wanna use. I made a couple. That one, that one's not standing up as much. Maybe we'll do this guy. We'll put it like, we'll put it like that maybe. Into the flowers, we're we'll gonna do the double. I kinda like the double one though. I'll do that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put that in first. It's not on right now, but I think I can put the, oh, we'll see if this is a science experiment waiting to happen. Blue on blue, different kinds. I will say this, Dent repair stuff, stinky. It is stinky, so be aware of that if you're gonna use it. You might wanna be in a more well-ventilated area if you're gonna use it. So I'm just gonna, I think we're just gonna wing it. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll pay attention and I'll lay some stuff down and see if we like it. No, no, we're just gonna, we're gonna do what we do. Let's just kind of wing it. Very heavy on the flowers. I'm gonna try to catch a couple of those. I'm gonna do something around here though. Maybe we'll just even slide something in the other way. Yeah, to cover up some of that. I like that. So I'm gonna leave the stems on here, but they're gonna get a little bit shorter. This way then I can kind of slide my flowers in. Yeah, yeah, we'll get some glue on there too. I just wanna see the placement. Kind of focusing more on the front of the book, but I do every once in a while put a couple things in the back, kind of just depending on how you think you're gonna place it, wherever you may be. We're gonna add the drips of honey going down the side. All right, let me get set up and we'll try it. Can you guys hear my heartbeat beating off my chest? I'm really worried that I'm gonna mess this up. We're gonna try it, because I said I was gonna, and I think it'll be really cool if I can make it work. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> All right, so it's nice and hot. 
And I'm gonna kinda, oh, hello. Don't get mad at me now. We're just gonna, we're gonna let gravity do its thing. The only thing I have to make sure of is I don't let the book get glued on to the silicone. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I actually think it's gonna be cool if we have like little pool at the bottom that also like will sit on the table because this will dry flat on the mat. And I think I would be over the top extra, right, if I put another one in there and then did it on the other side too. That's too much. Oh, you can't even see it on camera. Just trust me when I say it. that's too much. But, but it's gonna look like plungers sometimes. So. <laughs> the side of the book might be my favorite part compared to even the front. Okay. Do you see? <sighs> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. So cool. this dry and then I'll show you the finished piece that's me screaming oh my god it turned out so dang cute this might be my favorite book stack to date and we've made a lot if you want to see any of the other book stacks, and most of them are on Facebook, you can always send me a message, uh, comment down below, and I will link to some of the other books we've done. We've done, we've done them for pretty much every single season um, and every other occasion possible, but this is the first time using the little honey. The, the little, <sighs> I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like, just give me a little comment. Say yes, this, or if you've seen some of the other book stacks, tell me your favorite book stack. This might be it, this might be it. If you're loving these tutorials, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. To find out about the 150 style solo flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com, but that's not all. Oh, no, 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 no. If you're new around here and want to give the flowers or the craft supplies or the greenery, you know, all that stuff I said a minute ago, use the code YouTube30. Oh, my hand wasn't even up there. YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. Ha! Oh, I'm loving this thing. Yay! All right, I'm gonna go find the cutest little spot for this, this little honey book. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys!